It is now day 25 of Iceland's newest eruption of the Fagradalsviak volcano. Lava has so far spread across an area of 1.5 square kilometers or 0.58 square miles during this time span, and I estimate that a total of 15 million cubic meters of molten rock has been ejected. Any of the tens of thousands of people who viewed this eruption, whether in person or online through live streams, might have noticed that the lava is behaving slightly different when compared to the 2021 and 2022 eruptions. This assertion is supported by the geochemistry of the recently erupted lava, although the differences appear to be minor. To help display these differences, I present a total alkali versus silica chart and have added on the compositions of several Icelandic eruptions from other volcanoes for reference. And now, here is where Fygridalsviak's eruptions fell in 2021, 2022, and 2023. As you can see, the erupted lava is getting negligibly more silica and alkali rich, which is leading to an ever so slight increase in viscosity. Thus, the lavas erupted in 2021 were able to move at a maximum speed several percent higher than the current 2023 eruption. While this pattern could be a fluke, it suggests that some magma at depth and placed in 2021 is slightly evolving through fractional crystallization, which is then emerging alongside actual fresh magma from the mantle during subsequent eruptions. While the current eruption is still ongoing, it is quite obvious to everyone that the eruption is in its waning stages. Now, lava barely spatters above the active spatter cone at times, and the lava lake within it has noticeably dropped when compared to 48 hours ago. The question on everyone's mind is simply, when will this eruption end, and will I even have time to visit it? While the initial eruptive rate on day 1 hour 1 of this eruption was 70 cubic meters per second, it has now dropped to less than 5% of that original value on day 24, barely producing around 3 cubic meters per second. The last time a separate vent of Fagradolsviak dropped to 3 cubic meters per second, the eruption only continued for another 6 days. That was in 2022. However, the current eruption, although it has continuously decreased with each day producing less lava than a prior day, has decreased in intensity at about 70% slower than the 2022 eruption. Thus, although we do not know when this eruption will end, in my opinion, I suggest that the eruption could end between August 8th and August 13th of 2023. Regardless, we can definitely say that lava is struggling to be erupted out of the primary crater, with large spatters beyond the crater rim edge being almost non-existent. Despite the greatly decreased amount of erupted rock, an unusually tall, albeit brief, lava fountain occurred at around 1.30am local time on July 30th, with fragments at the peak of the fountain taking 6 full seconds to reach the ground. Thus, I estimate that the brief lava fountain, which lasted for less than 15 seconds, ejected molten rock 176 meters or 577 feet into the air. Although this is not a definitive measurement, Vygrodolsviak's eruptions seem to only be actively occurring if the tremor chart for at least one of the three values is reading a number above 4500. As you can see, this value is still above that threshold, so the eruption is still ongoing. Despite the decreasing eruptive intensity, the volcano is still emitting several thousand tons of sulfur dioxide each day. Although you cannot directly see the gas, you can see the effects of it, as when sunlight passes through the material, it returns an unusually bright blue haze. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.